Hey guys, this is Marcello. Today we're gonna make a dope song on the MC1 uh, in standalone. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! It's minus four degrees right now in Berlin. It's night and we got a guest and we have to do this first. Can't get dusty. So we got a guest. She's from Stockholm. Libra, Libra, great singer, great producer. Um, and she wrote a song. When did you write it? When did you write it? <clears throat> I wrote it this morning, actually. Nice. Uh, while doing the dishes. And then I got a little melody in my head. And uh, yeah, now it's a song. Cool. But so I haven't recorded it. Yeah. So I would say for today, let's record your song into the MPC. We're gonna use the mini log, chord mini log, and record some vocals straight on the, into the MPC. All right, let's do it. Do you want to start by playing something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, and then we can just see what we can record. Mm -hmm. do you need like mm -hmm. should i just make like 16 bars and yeah. then you can just play sounds good yeah okay i'm gonna yeah some drums um, to this one just really quick mm -hmm. um, MIDI mm -hmm. so I changed from audio track to MIDI track and I loaded up the usual decaps drums at number nine drums um, and I'm gonna uh, just look for some drum sounds that fit They're a little bit like dragging, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a little bit to the back, a little bit to the yeah. a little bit later, you know, like uh, lazy high hats, lazy high hats, yes. sloppy. each other. I'm gonna put those two in the same mute group. Mute group one. So they will cut each other off. Mm -hmm. So whenever this yeah, is yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's not like messy. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna add those. Like clean. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna copy this one here. Make this a little bit quieter. Yeah, like this. Okay. tracks now I'm gonna turn this a little bit down you want to 
play another mm -hmm. track with this? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Nice. Like a little, I don't know if bass line would fit, but maybe yeah. just some, some layers to it. Some layers, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Just wait a little bit. Okay. Hey. And then... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Before you do the vocals, do you want to add some bass? Yeah. Because we have to Let's do that. Unplug it. This one for the vocals. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We are going to duplicate this se uh, sequence to make it longer or not duplicate it, uh, double the length of the sequence because uh, yeah otherwise she doesn't have any space to sing so now it's 32 bars so we got the first audio track is the mini log then we got the vocals already set up it's input one Let's arm it. And on track three, we got uh, the second mini log track. And then on track four, we got the bass of the mini log. Okay, now let's go back to vocals. I um, Let me show you the how, how I uh, set up the cables. So I got the, I got my little Scarlett uh, Focusrite interface connected to the MPC via USB. And also, I got the sound of the interface, the output connected to the input of the MPC. And we got the microphone connected to the Scarlet. This microphone. So now we are gonna record some vocals to this beautiful piece of music. Are you ready? Are you ready to record some vocals? I'm very ready. We got, we don't have a sound now because we got the headphones plugged into this. So only Libra will hear the beat. Play start means from the beginning, a uh, play just means from where, where I yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. This is basic MPC knowledge. We are, um, there will be a video in the future where Libra will make, just make her first beat on an yes. MPC without even knowing the MPC. Really. Yes, She's... because I don't know about MPC. All right, now. you can't say on my channel, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm gonna, I I'm gonna bleep you. Okay. I don't know what the f I am doing. I don't know what the f I am doing. I don't know what the f I am doing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know We used to be quantized Like the beat I'm making right now So in sync and perfect wow Now I don't know, I don't know, I don't know 
Now I'm doing your dirty dishes. Now I'm cleaning up after you. Oh, what a mess you made, my baby. I know you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know. I'm gonna mix this uh, song on the MPC. All right, let's start by checking the levels. Go to track mix, solo the drums. Go into the drums, the pad mix, maybe the... All right, now let's take a look at the audio tracks. First, the mini log. Vocals, or let's... We used to be quantized like the beat I'm making right now. So okay, so this is the background vocal. Actually, let's name those to have a better overview. Backgrounds. Or dubs, let's call them dubs. And then I think this is this is let's call it lead. This is the bass. So just to make sure that we find anything, everything. Okay. Alright, I would say let's start by looking at the bass and the kick. Okay, let's go to the kick drum. Let's solo the kick. And now let's go back to the audio tracks and just solo the bass also. Oh, let's, uh, let's mute everything except the bass. So we got the bass and the kick. Let's start with that. Let's work on those. I would say um, I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna add some EQ to the bass. Make a high cut. So let's boost the lows. Now it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more weight. Let's also add a compressor to the bass to just control it a little bit. Let's also <clears throat> just really quick add the mother ducker to the comp to the bass in order to duck the bass when the kick hits. So let's go to the kick programs. Actually, let's choose the kick. Here is the kick. Add the mother ducker input to the kick. Okay, I like that, but it's too much. It's too much. Let's go back to the audio, to the bass. Let's actually go here. So we got the mother ducker, but let's. Um, it's too much.
Okay, let's go back to the kick. Um, I think the kick needs some uh, a little bit more punch. I like it, but let's add an EQ. At around 100 hertz, let's boost it. Uh, with a little bell curve. Okay, I like that. So I added some high frequencies to the kick to make it uh, more present. And also I added some 100 hertz. Um, yeah, and then pulled out some 400 or 500 hertz. Okay, I think that's fine for now. Let's add the vo vocals to that. For that, let's go to audio and just unmute the vocals. Okay. Let's pull up some. Okay. I don't know what I am doing. I don't know what the I am doing. I don't know what the I am doing. From maybe starting at 2k, just adding a shelf, a slight shelf. But maybe let's go back and start where the vocal starts. So start here. So it will start here when I press play. Let's go back. Let's see. Some more I am doing. presents. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We used to be quantized like the one K I'm making right now. So in sync and perfect. Wow, now I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm doing your dirty dishes. Now I'm cleaning up after you. Oh, what a mess you. My baby, I know you know, yeah, you know, yeah, Some you 300 know. hertz to add a little bit more um, or to bring the vocals closer. I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know so this what is before. the I am doing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And this is after. We used to be quantized like the beat. I'm making right now so in sync and perfect wow. Of course it's also louder. Okay, let's add some compression. We just uh, smoothen it out a little bit. Those uh, dynamic differences. Um, dynamic, let's add the air compressor maybe. I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know. Let's actually make the attack six. Oh, no. Let's actually make the, make it a. Yeah, let's make it like 15 milliseconds. Let's make the release shorter. When I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We used to be quantized like the beat I'm making right now. So in sync and perfect. Wow. Now I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm doing your dirty dishes. Now I'm cleaning up after you. Oh, what a mess you made, my baby. I know you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, so it gets. A little bit more smooth, like from the from the dy dynamic range, 
but also a little a little bit more dull. So let's add another EQ after that. Um, let's add the para EQ again. And just don't brighten it up. What the f I am doing. Add some air. I don't know what the f I am doing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We used to be quantized like the beat I'm making right now. So insane. Perfect wow. Now I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm doing your dirty dishes. Now I'm clean. Okay, I think we don't have a DS, right? On this one. On the MPC. No, we don't. Let's add some reverb to this one doing, I don't know what the fuck I am doing I don't know what the fuck I am doing So in this case I think the, the low end and the vocals are the, the most important thing of the song so I try to just make them two um, work together and then after that I'm, I, I bring in the, the other stuff, the mid, the, the melodic stuff, the, the other instruments. save it um, okay let's bring in some other parts let's start with the mini log with the with the chords okay so let's just solo it real quick I'm just gonna EQ it a little bit Undecised like the beat I'm making right now. So in sync and perfect wow. Now I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Now I'm doing your dirty dishes. Now I'm cleaning up after you. Okay, I think it's masking the vocals a little bit. So let's pull out. Let's actually just let's pull out some of those. Yeah, maybe one k, a little bit, just a little bit. Just I'm just listening to the vocal now, while I'm um, while I'm editing or while I'm EQing the the keys i'm listening to the vocals so i so my goal is to just let the vocals shine and the keys should be like a blanket around the vocals a low cut because it has quite some low frequency uh, material and I don't want to get in the way uh, of the bass I don't know what the I am doing I don't know what the I am doing I don't know I don't Okay, let's add some stereo widening to this because this is too this is too narrow in my opinion stereo with Add 
also let's add a compressor just to control it a little bit i think it's maybe uh maybe even a limiter no maybe even a channel strip just to because it's not when i don't know what the fuck i am doing i don't know what the fuck i am doing i don't know i don't know i don't know we used to be quantized like the beat i'm making right now so in sync and perfect wow now i don't know i don't know i don't know now i'm doing your dirty dishes now i'm cleaning up after you oh what a mess you made my baby i know you know yeah you know yeah you know i don't know what when. okay nice let's add another one just maybe a reverb. I'm not using sense in this one because we don't have too many tracks. So I'm just gonna make uh, insert re reverbs in this one. Okay. How about this? When I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We used to be quantized like the bee. Making right now, so in sync and perfect. Wow. With. Now I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. As wide as possible. Okay, that's fine. Let's bring in another, another instrument. Let's bring in the lead. When I don't know what the fuck I am doing. I don't know what the fuck I when So let's actually. EQ it a little bit to bring to bring it out a little bit more. Just emphasize some, just cut away some low information and emphasize some mid high frequencies. Let's also move it back a little bit with a non-linear reverb, why not? I think it's time for the drums to bring in the other drums. So let's go. Let's just add some EQ to the snare or to the rim shot or whatever it is. Stick, side stick. Where are the high hats? Let's pan those high hats a little bit. Okay, I like that. Do we have something else actually? Oh, the dubs. Let's do something to the dubs also. Let's actually add some vocal effects to those. Maybe a harmonizer even. Nice. Some reverb. Add 
and then some EQ to just carve out a little bit of low end. Just. Actually, let's add, let's go to the master. Um, how do we go to the master? Here's the master. And let's add some EQ to the master because I think at 200 hertz, it's a little bit uh, of a build up, uh, just low frequency rumble, mumble, rumble. Very narrow Q and then. Okay, and then let's just add some air. So just maybe brighten everything up from 2K slightly, very slightly. And now let's. Uh, I think the snare is too dry, so let's actually add something to the snare. Some kind of reverb. I mean, it's also an insert. The CPU is not thanking me, but let's still do it. We got some drums reverb, I think. Some. We got some drums. Drums left. Let's move those hi hats a little bit. Let's go to the master again and add some 2K, just very slightly to make the vocals come out a little bit more. I would add some 2K just in the in the middle and on the sides, not, but this is not a mid side EQ. Let's turn the vocals up a little bit, just a little bit. Vocals, just a little bit. I think that's it for now. All right, I exported the file from the MPC and put it into Ableton to just widen it a little bit and to put a limiter on it to make the final master. So that's what I did. I'm gonna show you really quick what I did there. All right, so this is the this is the file. This is the the, the track. The first effect I pulled up is the black box. It's a saturation plugin and uh, it opens up the whole mix a little bit. It's got some side, mid side uh, processing. Then there's the digital V3 EQ, which is my go to EQ on the master chain. Um, I pulled out a little bit, 230 hertz, just, just a little bit, just. 0.6 and then um, did some bass shifts a little bit 
of bass and a little bit of presence there. I think that's it here, not, not really a lot. All right, next I pulled up the low end focus, which is from Ozone 9 from Isotope, which is great to give your low end more punch and more um, separation and, and on the master. I really like it. So then I added the standard clip. It's a clipper, a soft clip, just to shave some transients, transients just a little bit. Very subtle. And then the Pro L2, which is my go-to uh, limiter right now. It came out at minus 8.4 LUFS. <laughs> Which is pretty loud actually i like that all right that's the whole process all right i would say let's hear the whole thing Okay, there, it stopped. All right, we're done. I would say it's pretty good. I really like the song. Me too. Um, also, our music duo, the two of us, Mango Cat. We have a new song out today. It's called Zertipi. Make sure to check it out and leave us a, a feedback. It would be super nice uh, to hear what you think. And um, we're gonna show you a little snippet um, Right there. Must be a past life, but we just met. Will you make me laugh so much? I forget. You are a comedian, I forget. Will you make me think so much? I forget. You're not a university, I forget. Would you, my belief is strong, I forget. You are no religion, no, I forget. Never have I met someone like you. Must be a past life, but we just met. All right, and um, for everyone who's more uh, at the beginner stage of MPC, um, there will be another video with Libra. Um, she will try to make a beat on the MPC with my help. She has never made any beats on the MPC. No. I've never used the MPC. Only Logic. She's working in Logic normally, so that will be interesting. And probably also a learning experience for those who are watching, uh, who don't know the MPC that well. All right, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna like this video. Uh, also with Libra, dope song, peace. peace.